On this episode of Tony's Fords and Mustangs, we're going to install a dash cam in the Fiat over here. So this is the dash cam we ordered. It is a micro USB. We're going to hardwire that. It came with a 32 gig card here and that would pop in and out if you needed to. It also has Bluetooth on it. So you can Bluetooth a video directly to your phone and view it that way. This is a hardwire kit. So this is the micro USB that's going to plug into the dash cam port. Then we have a power and a ground. This kit also comes with fuse adapters for just about any type of fuse you could use as well as the fuses themselves for the dash cam. So it's a pretty nice setup. The wife bought all this stuff on Amazon and this is sufficient. So the first thing I need to do is remove some of the plastic that's going to get in the way. I want to run my dash cam up here and I'll show you that location in a little bit. Run the, the cable down to this fuse panel which is located down here in the kick panel. So we're just going to pop this out. And there's a little speaker in here believe it or not. All right, so that's out. The actual tweeter just wanted to pop out. There's a little tab here that needs to be depressed to get this out. I decided it was easier just to come out, so I'm gonna let it. Just pop that back into place for reinstallation. Really, all I need to do is get, I'm gonna move you, room down through here to drop the wire down to the fuse panel. So that's the plan. So I need a little bit of space to do that. I might be able to fish it down through there down over here to the fuse block. Now this is an old school tool. You know, I'm an old school guy, I'm 57. This is an old clothes hanger. I'm gonna use this to try to fish my wire down through this A-pillar over here, down to the fuse panel. It's strong enough that I can force stuff down through it. If I just try to run this wire down through here, it's gonna get hung up, it's, it's just not gonna go. But if I use a little bit of masking tape, and that's what we're gonna do is just tape this to this clothes hanger, I'm going to try to feed it down through there so I can grab it and then send it over to the fuse panel. And some Dollar General masking tape here. Take the end to the wire. And I'm using the wide stuff here so it, you know, sticks. I'm going to feed this down through here. I got a little bit too much of what's going on. Let's rip that off. There we go. <sighs> Try to fish this down in through there. Got a little speaker wire. Oh, I can feel it. There we go. Great success. Another win for the clothes hanger. Now I've got my wire run, but I also have this little, I don't know if you got, I'm gonna pull you over here. This little box here. I, I don't want this thing rattling around in here. That would be annoying to have that rattling around. So I'm gonna mount it with a little bit of 3M two-way tape. I'm gonna get it down in there so it doesn't interfere with the A-pillar and two-way tape it to the side of the car. So even if the two-way tape loses its grip, it's, it's a little bit spongy, so it'll soften the, the noise factor. Now most dash cams come with, I don't know, 87 feet of wire that you don't need. I need to tuck this away somewhere so it's not just dangling. So we're gonna run this up the A-pillar here, and then over and across to where we wanna mount it. And then I'm gonna see how much excess I actually have, but it's a lot, it's substantial. And then we're going to mount this camera with this two-way tape. Once that's mounted, then I'm going to know how much of this cable, how much of this I actually need. And we're going to bind this up with some wire ties and tuck it down inside the A-pillar as well. Now, before you go and mount this thing, test fit it. Because you don't want it to interfere with your mirror or anything else. This one has the wire. It's actually on the wrong side for this application, but you can't pick the way they're going to set these things up. I did make sure that I could adjust the mirror before I mounted it. That's pretty well hidden from view and you can't attach it to the paint on the windshield. It'll just fall down. That stuff really doesn't stick too well. Plus your view is going to be obscured by the that dot pattern. So don't attach it to the paint. You got to be just maybe below that and that's where I'm going to go with this one. It's behind the mirror so when you're driving you don't really see it and I have access to the cable so I can 
pull it out when we're not in the car and I think this will work out pretty well. Now this wire is going to get tucked up in here and I have a tool and that actually came with the kit. This little tool here is going to allow me to tuck that up into the trim here and I'm going to pull on the trim just a little bit to, to assist with that. So I've got my camera mounted, the wires run up there, over across up underneath here and it really wasn't it wasn't too difficult to get this up in here so there's a couple of pinch points i just used the tool to tuck them wire tied this to the existing harness that goes down a couple spots then i've got all this excess and that excess is going to get tucked right down in there into the a pillar so it's out of the way okay so i'm going to remove this kick panel there's a push pin in here this little piece just pops out and then the whole push pin comes out that's located up in here so that's out then you got to put this and that just pops up that's not too hard i'm actually not even going to remove the whole thing i'm just got it loose these two clips come loose and she's out now once you have your fuse out and this is what i have i'm going to stick that right in your teeth that's the fuse that's in this fiat spider so now i've got to choose which one of these matches up and well it's this job right here so this one is the same type of fuse carrier, but this is the one I'm going to need. So I'm going to have to have one to carry the voltage of the fuse I'm replacing, which this is a 15 amp, so this is going to go right into the slot. Then I have to pull the one that came with the kit for the dash cam and drop that in its place. And that's pretty simple. This is going to go back in the location where the fuse came out of. This is going to attach the this barrel connector is going to attach the barrel connector that came with the, the kit. Then you're powered up. Then all you gotta do is find a ground. So now I've got power to the camera. I've just gotta locate a ground. Hey, there was a ground. It was hiding like right up in there. So that's a 12 millimeter bolt right here. And I've got my ground wire stuffed up in there. I'm just gonna tighten it down. I've got my ground. I'm gonna check and make sure everything works and we're in business. So the a arm pillar goes back in. The hardest part of this install so far has been this clip back here. It just did not want to cooperate. Finally, I finagled it in, but that's got to go in on the bottom before you worry about the top clips. They just pop in. They're easy. This kick panel on the bottom, this has to come loose. These two clips go over that. The push pin has to be lined up. The push pin is just going to go right back in. Popped. Done. Cover. This cover just goes back in and pops into place. If I can get it in here, right? Okay, that's done. This piece of trim goes back on. That's in. That's done. Job done. Not too bad. So the only tools I really used was that 12 millimeter socket, this pry tool, which was kind of important, some zip ties, a pair of scissors to cut the zip ties, a clothes hanger, some tape and some two-way tape and that's it so it's relatively simple it's relatively straightforward but it's going to be the same with any car that you work on you need to get power you need to get ground you need to mount your camera and then run your wire and you're done all right so that wraps up the dash cam install on the 124 spider why did i do this well if you watched any of my other videos you'll know that i was just in a pretty bad accident none of the witnesses at the scene actually stayed so the only thing that could tell the tale of the accident was my dash cam and that dash cam footage was very telling i was 100 percent not at fault once the police saw that they just said thank you same way with the insurance companies both insurance companies looked at the dash cam footage and there was absolutely no discrepancy as to who was at fault a dash cam is probably the cheapest insurance you can buy it's going to tell the tale what happened in an accident most of the time and if witnesses don't stay around or if there are no witnesses it's really the only witness you have as to what actually happened. So I highly recommend them. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll see you.